That's insane. That is insane how perfect that is. My name is Sean Brock and I'm a chef in the American South. The one thing that Southern food shares is the component of something soulful, something that makes you feel welcomed and comfortable, something that makes you feel a very specific emotion. Ooh, there it is. Delicious. When the foundations of Southern cooking were being formed, the plant varietals and animal breeds and the agricultural practices were very, very pure. The 18th century, people were breeding for flavor and selecting for flavor. But then as times got tough, out of the need for survival, we started to breed and select for convenience instead of flavor. And once we started breeding for convenience, the deliciousness and the nutrition also got bred out. That's when Southern food started to get the reputation for being unhealthy. And so for the last 15 years or so, I've been focusing on restoring the original pantry of the South so that the foods of this region can shine the way they used to. The way I normally make this is I would just blast it in a really hot oven. But like, I'm a firm believer in capturing as many of the natural juices and flavors of something. And so if it's enclosed in here with a lid as it cooks, that's what I prefer. As a chef, the first thing I do is look for the best products that I can find. Products that are the freshest are usually the most delicious, therefore that's the first thing that I'm looking for. One of the best ways to show the greatest respect for these amazing products is to spend the same amount of time searching for the tools. If you take a beautiful product that has been grown with care and the seeds have been nurtured for multiple generations and it comes time to execute and you don't have the right tools, that story becomes lost. So this is a country ham. It's like, th this is like the katsuobushi of the South. You know, it's that fermented smoky depth of um, umami that you get and broths and things. Wow, it smells amazing. This is Cherokee candy roaster squash. Really old varietal. So aromatic. These are called lady peas. And these are a, a true delicacy in the South. They're only perfect for a very short amount of time. And so people kind of gorge on them when they're, when they're in season. I can't imagine Southern food without cast iron. And when I saw a piece of cast iron cookware that reminded me of my childhood, but was made with Japanese precision, I knew immediately that I had to get my hands on it. Chicken in this was something that I'd never experienced before. It was just such an obvious difference in the concentration of flavor that I was just completely blown away. The intensity of the natural flavors of the chicken actually was impossible to wash off my hands. That's all I could think about for days.
Well, that's the healthiest succotash I've ever seen. That's awesome. I mean, look how vibrant all the peppers even stayed. You know that if the colors stayed, the nutrients and, and flavor has stayed. If a cookware can intensify the natural flavors of something, if it can make it better than it is naturally, to me, that is a, an amazing product. When a vegetable or a meat naturally is delicious, it is naturally nutritious. If we can get back to those things that naturally have deliciousness and nutrition that is extraordinary. In theory, we can create a much healthier, more vibrant cuisine.